back now the latest on the Pegasus spyware hearing and the government today said in the Supreme Court it has nothing to hide as the government was, as the Supreme Court was hearing petitions seeking a thorough investigation into the spyware scandal. The court issuing a notice to the center said the government should reply on allegations that the Israeli spyware were used on individual phones adding that it will decide on forming a committee to investigate the allegations only after getting the center's response. Well, let's go across to Sukirti now for more. So interesting Sukirti the government will have to give its response in, in 10 days' time. Well, yes, uh, the government will have to give its response in 10 days' time and also this has to be put in context of what happened in the parliament. That is the place where the Parliamentary Affairs Minister, Mr. Prahlad Joshi, said that Pegasus is a non-issue, it is a non-serious issue, that is why uh, there is no need for a debate on it. But now the centre is telling the Supreme Court that this matter can have implications on national security. Uh, whether we come to the court saying that Pegasus were used or not used, it can be used by terror elements uh, against us they can modify their attacks against us based on the statements that we make here in our affidavits which will be put out in the public domain. The centre says that we are willing to say uh, give us say on the matter, make our statements but that has to be done before a committee of experts that will be under your mandate and that is the right way to go about it and not by uh, filing affidavits and putting all details in the public domain which could then compromise with our national security. However, the Supreme Court made it very clear that we understand and we are also responsible and we would not want you to compromise on national security or reveal anything uh, that could uh, intervene with the defense ministry protocols. However, there are individuals in this case who are saying that their phones were infected, they were hacked, uh, those were infiltrated and that is why we need proper details because even under our laws there are certain ways uh, that by orders of a competent authority uh, these interception orders can be given. So we don't see any problems in the competent authorities giving a reply to us. We are issuing you a notice. You give us your response. The ministry or the comp competent authority can take a call on what they want to disclose, what they don't want to disclose. And once you give us our response, then we will decide whether a committee of experts is needed or not. All right, uh, Sukirti, thanks so much for joining us uh, with all of those latest details. Now, just a disclaimer, uh, the NSO group, which owns Pegasus, the Israeli group, admits that this is spyware and is used to hack phones, but says it does business only with governments and government agencies. The Israeli company says it does not corroborate the list of potential targets which have been reported by the media around the world, and the Indian government so far has said no substance to the reports of Pegasus being used by it against opposition leaders, journalists and others. NDTV cannot independently verify the authenticity of the list of those who were supposedly hacked.